I was introduced to um, crack cocaine and soon found that that numbed the pain even more than the Vicodin did. And it just was a downward spiral from there. They pulled me in um, to Pastor Scott's office and told me that they wanted me to go to Rockford. My first instinct was to, was to say, no, I don't want to go. But something inside me said that this is what I needed to do. One of the first people I met when I got here was um, Joey Kingsbury. And she said, I love you. And she put my, her arms around me. And I'm looking at her like, how can you tell me you love me? You don't even know me. But she's loving with the love that we're supposed to love with, with the love of Jesus and not her love. I learned what it meant to love. Um, I learned what it meant to have joy and not frustration. I'm a really big warrior, and I, I found that peace that passes all understanding that I can't explain to anybody. It was through that journey that God brought me to the end of myself, totally broke me. Um, submission, to submit to my authority, to submit to God. All these things that I went through in my life, um, the devastating loss of my daughter, um, the, the year and a half that I spent in rebellion to God with him right there and I sat there and spit in his face. He used all of that to make me the person that I am today. I wouldn't be this person if I hadn't gone through that because everything is for my good but it's for his glory.